Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have another currently inked video here for the 6th of May 2019. So let's have a look at these pens from left to right and then I'll do a writing sample. So on the far left here we have the Armando Simone Club and this is the Il Gladiator or Il Gladiatore. And this is a pen that I picked up at the London Pen Show in March 2019. And this is a lovely pen. So I wanted some more Arco Brown pens and I decided that I would add this to my collection. It's actually quite a, a large pen, not as large as the Bolognas are, but you can see here in size my hand here, it is quite a large pen. So this comes with an 18 karat gold Magic Flex nib. And if I let's show you that here, there you go. That's a really lovely nib. And the pen is currently inked up with what I ink up a lot of my brown Arco pens. And I have this inked up with... Akamon SBRE Brown. And then I have the Visconti here, and this is the Visconti Manhattan Arco Limited Edition. Now, there has been a lot of controversy about this pen. There were supposed to be 70 made. ASC did post a picture of all of the uh, 40 caps in production, and I believe that there were around about 30 caps that didn't make it. So I believe that there were only around about 40 pens of these that actually made it. So this, for me, is a really lovely pen. Again, it's an Arco Brown pen from the Omas Arco celluloid that Omas used to use. And it's a gorgeous pen. And again, I got this at the London Pen Show. You can see it in the size of my hand here, and this is an 18 karat gold nib there, a Visconti nib, and it also has an ink window there, and this pen I have been writing with a lot, so it is pretty much out of ink, like it is like on its last dregs. So I don't know if I will actually be able to do a full writing sample on this pen. So that will be interesting because I'm trying not to refill that pen at the moment. I also have another pen that I picked up at the London Pen Show. And of course, because these are all new pens, I am trying to write with these and see how much I like them. Like we all do with, with new pens, we ink them up and we write with them. So this is the Molteni. And this is a Modelo or Model 55S. And this is in the Omas Royal Blue Luchens material. And it is absolutely gorgeous material. So sort of transparent, semi-transparent there. You can see a little bit of the mechanism. It's a piston fill. And this comes with an 18 karat gold nib. You can see it there. It's a medium nib. These only come in a medium, I believe, but these are really nice pens. They are cigar shaped. For me, it's just so comfortable. I love how this pen both sits in my hand and writes as well. So I have that currently inked up with KWZ Gummy Berry. And then the next pen here is the Leonardo. And this is the Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero. And this is the resin version in the Hawaii blue, or the, the Hawaii finish. And you can see here, this is gorgeous. Again, I picked this up at the London Pen Show, so I've been doing a lot of writing with this. And I got it in a broad nib. And for me, this is a lovely, lovely writing pen. So you can see that nib there but it really is a gorgeous pen. You can see that material here, just how, see the cap here, just how well that looks. So 
again, this is a pen that I have been writing with a lot, and I really do like how it writes. I do like broad nibs. It's a steel nib, but it writes very smoothly. So for me, again, this is a pen I've been writing with a lot in these last couple of weeks. I also have this pen, and this is the Fine Writing International, and it's typically named the Brass Demonstrator. Now, Fine Writing International is a Taiwanese company, and I have this currently inked up with KWZ Honey. Now, it does have a cartridge converter in here. You can ink it up as an eyedropper if you want to. I haven't yet tried that. It has this lovely broad nib, and it's a lovely black nib as well. So these, I don't really have that many black nibs in my collection, or stealth coloured nibs. So for me, this is a really nice pen. I'm glad I did add this to my collection. It's a broad nib, so it writes very broad and very wet. Now, I have two other pens here, and these are pens I haven't quite reviewed yet. And I just had a very big ink accident with this one here. This is the pen BBS, and this is the 308 Smog. So I've just had to wash it out, so there will be a little bit of water in the cap. But it just dumped half of the barrel into the cap. Now, this normally is a cartridge converter. It does have an O-ring, so it can be eyedroppered, and I have eyedroppered it here, and you can see that ink sloshing around. I'm not going to try and move it too much, but you can see here it has... Uh, I swapped these nibs out, so this has a steel Leonardo nib in the pen, and that's a Bock nib there. But these swirls are actually quite nice, and I have this currently inked up with Jehaban Li Dete. And that is a lovely brown ink. So that's been one that I've been writing in my journal a lot recently. And then we have this other pen BBS. And this is a 309. And again, it's the smog version. So you can see these lovely white swirls going on here. And I have this inked up with Diamine Syrah. So this is a red ink. And you can see it there. The, the nib again, I swapped the pen BBS nibs out for a still Leonardo nib because I really don't like the pen BBS nibs. They're too fine for my liking. So I decided to swap those nibs out for broad nibs. So there you are. You can see that there. But it is, a again, a lovely swirl pattern. But it's a piston filler, this one. So more than half the barrel, you see the piston mechanism there. And then we have some Conway Stewart's. So this one is my Conway Stewart Churchill. And this is a red stardust. And you can see this lovely material here. It sparkles really lovely. So this, unfortunately, now from Bespoke British Pens is now sold out. You cannot get a pen in this material from them. There are other custom pen makers that do have some of the rod material. But it is becoming harder and harder to find. But this material is really stunning. So this, although it's a Conway Stewart, it's made by uh, Bespoke British Pens because Conway Stewart went under. And this has a Bespoke British Pens flag nib. And this is a medium 18 karat gold nib on there. Now, they call these semi-flex nibs, but they really are not semi-flex at all so if you do want a bespoke british pens nib and you're interested in it because it says semi-flex they really are not semi-flex uh, they're not even close uh, in my mind um, and they're definitely not full flex like it, you, it's very difficult to get any flex out of these nibs and then we have again another conway stewart churchill and this is the blue stardust so if i zoom in here now you can see it's very similar material it's the stardust material but it's in the blue instead of red but i like this because it comes with the rhodium trims 
so the, the silver colored trims there but you can see here it really is a nice material but it's quite dark it's not as bright as the red stardust and if i uncap it you'll see here it has an 18 karat gold nib it's a medium nib again and it's the bespoke british pens flag nib but for me I do love these writing pens. These pens write very well. But again, it's not a semi-flex nib. So you just have to bear that in mind when you buy those pens. And then I have the last pen here on my currently inked list. And again, this is another Conway Stewart and it's a Churchill. But this is what's called the bracket green. And I zoom in here, you'll see this. It's a green cracked ice effect that's going on here it's really quite stunning you can see here in the body so I have this inked up with um, Lamy green at the moment and for me that is a lovely lovely pen and if I uncap it here you'll see the nib and the nib again it's an 18 karat gold medium nib and it's a bespoke British pens flag nib. So that's the pens I have currently inked up. So I think we'll now go ahead and do a writing sample. So the first pen we have here is the Armando Simone Club. We'll do a swatch. There you go and so it's the Armando Simone Club and it's the Il Gladiator or Gladiatore and the ink in this pen is Akamon SBRE Brown and as I mentioned earlier, this is an ink that I really put in a lot of my Arco Brown pens because it's just an ink that I think matches the Arco Brown colour quite nicely. And then we have the Visconti. Now, this is a medium nib. But for me, it writes more like a fine nib. And you can see here the difference in the color of the ink. It's using the same ink. So it's a Visconti. And it's the Manhattan Arco. And then the ink is Akamon SBRE brown and you can see really the difference there how much lighter that ink looks now the ASC gladiator actually writes more like a broad nib even though it's a medium nib and then the Visconti is a medium nib and it writes more like a fine nib and then we have the Molteni and this is the Modelo 55S in the Royal Blue Luchens so we'll do an ink swatch on this. So it's the Molteni Modelo 55S in the Royal Blue Luchens. And then the ink in here is KWZ Gummy Berry. And that is an ink that I hadn't used for a while until getting this pen in March. And I inked it back up and I'm really loving that ink. So I will be buying a lot more of that KWZ Gummy Berry very soon. And then we have the Leonardo and this is the Momento Zero Hawaii
So it's the Leonardo. And I'm just going to put Memento Zero here. I'm not going to put the Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero Hawaii because it's going to be too long. So Leonardo Memento Zero Hawaii. And I have this inked up with a lovely blue ink and it's Diamine Sapphire Blue. And that for me, I think matches the pen quite nicely. And then we have this pen and this is the Fine Writing International. This ink is, again, one of my favorite color inks. So this is the, I'm just going to put Fine Writing International, and it's the Brass Demonstrator. And the ink in here is KWZ Honey. And I wanted, when I bought that ink several years ago, I wanted an ink that looked gold. And I got KWZ Old Gold, and then I got the honey. And I thought the old gold was almost perfect. And then I got the honey, and it was like, well, the honey's even better. So for me, I actually have a better gold ink now, which is Pilot of Oshizuku in a hoe. But I do love that KWZ honey. And then we have the Pen BBS, and this is a 308 Smog Edition. And hopefully we're not going to have another ink catastrophe going on here. But let's see. You see here, this broad nib, the Leonardo, is pretty broad. So it's the Pen BBS, and it's the... 308 smog and it is Jehaban Lee de Te and I think we survived an ink catastrophe going on there but that again is a lovely brown it's one of my earlier brown inks I had and I still use it from time to time when I want another brown. And this is the another pen BBS. And we'll do a swatch. So it's a pen BBS 309 and it's a smog. You can see how wet these both of these pens are writing. And that's with a Leonardo broad nib there. So the ink in this one is Diamine Syrah. Or Sarah. I normally call it Syrah. I'm probably wrong in that pronunciation. Wouldn't surprise me. And then we have the Conway Stewart Churchill. Now this is inked up with a red ink that I like quite a lot, but it's not an ink that I use that much. It's actually a very vibrant red ink. I wonder if you can guess this ink. I don't think I mentioned it earlier. So this is the Conway Stewart Churchill. And it's the red... Stardust. The ink, if you've got it right, is Lamy Red. And that for me is a lovely ink. I do like that ink a lot. It's very bright. And then we have the Conway Stewart Churchill here. 
and this is again see if you can guess this ink shouldn't be that hard it's a lovely blue ink and these inks are really underrated so it's a Conway Stuart and it's the Churchill and it's the blue stardust and again the ink is Lamy blue so the, these Lamy inks are actually quite nice inks very underrated and I bought actually quite a few bottles of these when pure pens were actually selling them off at a discount so I'm really glad that I bought them because I didn't know what the inks were like but they were I think less than half price and then we have the final pen which is again another Conway Stewart so it's a Conway Stewart Churchill and it's the bracket green and the ink is Lamy green I don't like this ink as much I find it's a little bit more of a muted or paler green but you might like it so here we can see the inks if I zoom in a bit there you can see these so we have the Armando Simone Club Il Gladiatore with Akamon SBRE Brown we have the Visconti Manhattan Arco again with Akamon SBRE Brown and you can see the difference here on these two inks we have the Molteni Modelo 55S in the Royal Blue Luchens, inked up with KWZ Gummy Berry. We have the Leonardo Memento Zero, Hawaii, and that's inked up with that lovely blue Diamine Sapphire Blue. We have the Fine Writing International Brass Demonstrator, and that is inked up with KWZ Honey. We have the Pen BBS 308 Smog, inked up with Je Herbain Le Dete. And actually, those inks are not that much different. They're like the honey is a little bit on the lighter side, perhaps. And then we have the Pen BBS 309 Smog, and that is inked up with Diamine Syrah. Then we have the Conway Stewart Churchill Red Stardust, inked up with Lamy Red. We have the Conway Stewart Churchill Blue Stardust inked up with Lamy Blue and then we have the Conway Stewart Churchill Bracket Green inked up with Lamy Green so there you have it that's my currently inked video thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video bye bye <laughs>